Hello everyone. In this video we will be talking about stretching. Stretching it is a therapeutic maneuver designed to increase the extensibility of soft tissues thereby improving flexibility and range of motion by elongating structures that have adaptively shortened and have become hypermobile over time mobility means to move functional range of motion it is defined as ability of structures or segment of the body to move or to be moved to allow the presence of range of motion for functional activities functional mobility it is defined as ability of an individual to initiate control or sustain active movements of the body to perform simple to complex motor skills factors affecting mobility pain fascia tightness skin muscle tightness or muscle weakness joint capsule tightness neuritis means inflammation of nerve definition and terms associated with mobility and stretching flexibility it is the ability to move a single joint or series of a joint smoothly and easily through an unrestricted pain free range of motion dynamic flexibility also referred to as active mobility or active range of motion it is degree to which an active muscle contraction moves a body segment through the available range of motion of a joint passive flexibility also referred to as passive mobility or passive range of motion it is the degree to which a body segment can be passively moved through the available range of motion and is depend on the extensibility of muscles and connective tissues that cross and surround a joint hypermobility refers to decreased mobility or restricted motion factors that may contribute or affect the hypermobility and stiffness of soft tissues prolonged immobilization paralysis sedentary lifestyle postural malalignment such as scoliosis contracture it is defined as adaptive shortening of muscle tendon unit and other soft tissues that crosses or surround the joint resulting in significant resistance to passive or active stretch and limitation of range of motion it is severe tightness not easily reversible by stretching it requires a combination of stretching splinting serial casting and sometimes surgery or tendon release types of contracture first one is myostatic contracture there may be reduction in the number of sarcomere unit in series there is no decrease in individual sarcomere length it can be resolved in short time with stretching no specific muscle pathology present second one is pseudo myostatic contracture impaired mobility and limited range of motion may also be the result of hypertonicity associated with a central nervous system lesion for example spinal cord injury traumatic brain injury cerebrovascular accident if neuromuscular inhibition procedures to reduce muscle tension temporarily are applied full passive elongation of the apparently shortened muscle is then possible arthrogenic and periarticular contracture it is result of intraarticular pathology these changes may include adhesion synovial proliferation joint effusion irregularities in articular cartilage or osteophyte formation a periarticular contracture develops when connective tissue that crosses or attached to a joint or the joint capsule loss mobility thus restricting normal arthrokinematics motion fibrotic contracture or irreversible contracture fibrous changes in the connective tissue of muscles and periarticular structures can cause adhesion of those tissue and subsequent development of a fibrotic contracture it is often difficult to re establish optimal tissue length permanent loss of extensibility of soft tissue that cannot be reversed by non surgical intervention may occur when normal muscle tissue and organized connective tissue are replaced with a large amount of relatively non extensible fibrotic adhesion and scar tissue or even heterotrophic bone tightness it is defined as adaptive shortening of muscles tendon and other soft tissue that crosses and surround the joint it is reversible by physical activities and stretching muscle guarding it is a strong contraction or stiffness of particular muscle in order to protect the underlying organ or structure thus it forms a rigid or natural splint that can be detectable on palpation spasm 
इट इज अ प्रोटेक्टिव रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ अ मसल कैरेक्टराइज बाई मसल गार्डिंग और कॉन्ट्रेक्शन इन रिस्पॉन्स टू इंजरी और टू प्रिवेंट द इंजरी इट इज ऑलवेज ए कंप्लेन्ड बाई पेन स्पास्टिसिटी इट इज अ क्लिनिकल साइन ऑफ अपर मोटर न्यूरोन लिशन कैरेक्टराइज बाई इंक्रीज इन मसल टोन इन वन ग्रुप ऑफ मसल फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेमीप्लेजिया रिजिडिटी इट इज अ क्लिनिकल साइन ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा पिरामिडल सिस्टम लिजन कैरेक्टराइज बाई इंक्रीज इन द टोन ऑफ बोथ एगोनिस्ट एंड एंटागोनिस्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल पार्किसोनिजम फ्लैसिडिटी इट इज अ क्लिनिकल साइन ऑफ लोअर मोटर न्यूरोन लिजन कैरेक्टराइज बाई डिक्रीज इन मसल टोन फॉर एग्जाम्पल पॉलीमाइलाइटिस कोडा एक्वेना सिंड्रोम स्पाइनल कॉड इंजरी बिफोर स्ट्रेचिंग ऑप्टेन पेशेंट्स गोल डिजायर आउटकम ऑफ स्ट्रेचिंग ऑप्टेन पेशेंट्स कॉन्सेंट टू इनिशिएट ट्रीटमेंट वार्म अप दी सॉफ्ट टिश्यू टू बी स्ट्रेच बाय एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लोकल हीट और एक्टिव लो इंटेंसिटी एक्सरसाइज प्रॉपर पोजिशनिंग ऑफ द पेशेंट इज मस्ट टू अलाउ द करेक्ट मोशन ऑफ स्ट्रेचिंग एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसीजर ऑफ स्ट्रेचिंग टू द पेशेंट फ्री दी एरिया टू बी स्ट्रेच टू एनी रिस्ट्रिक्टेड क्लोथिंग बैंडेज और स्प्लिंट ड्यूरिंग स्ट्रेचिंग मूव दी एक्सट्रीमिटी टिल द पॉइंट ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्शन फॉर्मली ग्रास्प दी एरिया प्रोक्सिमल एंड डिस्टल टू दी जॉइंट स्टेबिलाइज दी प्रोक्सिमल सेगमेंट एंड मूव दी डिस्टल टू स्ट्रेच दी मल्टी जॉइंट मसल स्टेबिलाइज आइधर प्रोक्सिमल और डिस्टल सेगमेंट एप्लाय ए लो इंटेंसिटी स्ट्रेच इन अ स्लो एंड सस्टेन मैनर पेशेंट शूड एक्सपीरियंस पुलिंग सेंसेशन बट नॉट पेन maintain the stretch position for 30 second or longer gradually release the stretch force and allow the patient and therapist to rest after stretching apply cold and allow to cool in lengthen position perform active range of motion and stretching exercise through the gain range immediately after the stretching develop a balance in strength in antagonist muscle to adequately control and stability as flexibility increased check for any local tenderness redness edema rise in local temperature apply corrective splint to maintain if required